We know that Carol ate one piece from each of the four sandwiches. So let's consider all four sandwiches one at a time. So we've got these four sandwiches. We know, that we know they're divided up in a pretty specific way. These three, we're told at the beginning, three of the sandwiches were evenly divided among the students. So we know that they're M students. And we know that three of them get divided evenly among them. So, so what fraction of, let's just consider this sandwich, what fraction of this sandwich do each of these M students get? Well, if it was a number, if we had four students, then everybody would get a quarter of this sandwich. We've got M students, so everybody gets an Mth, one over M. And it's the same deal for this sandwich. Divide that up M ways, and everybody gets an Mth. Same deal here. What about this last sandwich? Well, the question tells us, since four students did not want any of the fourth sandwich, it was evenly divided among the remaining students. So we had M students. That's what we were dealing with for these three. Now we've got M minus four students. So what fraction does everybody get? Well, when it was M students is one over M. When it's M minus four students, everybody gets, or each of the remaining people, get one over M minus four. And so what happens with Carol? Well, we know, we're told at the end that, that, that she gets one piece of each of the four sandwiches. So, well, everybody ate some of this and everybody got one mth. Same deal here, same deal here. And then the remaining m minus four people each got this fraction here. So Carol's represented in each of these. So all we have to do to figure out how much she eats is add them up. So now we just have a little bit of algebra to do. These three fractions all have the same denominator, so we can just add the numerators and keep the denominator. So these guys become 3 over m. And this has a different denominator, so that guy's still stuck at 1 over m minus 4. So we've made some progress, but this still doesn't match the answer choices. How can we make it look more like the answer choices? Well, the answer choices are all a single fraction. And here we've got a two fractions added together. So we've got to add these guys, which we can't do as they are because they have different denominators. So we've got to find a way to give them the same denominator. Well, this guy's stuck with an m on the bottom. This guy's stuck with an m minus 4 on the bottom. So one thing we could do is give them both, both m and m minus 4. So how do I give this guy an m minus 4 without changing it? Well, anytime we're, we're, we're trying to rewrite a fraction without changing it, we can just multiply it by 1, which means we're multiplying top and bottom by the same thing. So in this case, if I'm trying to get m minus 4 represented, I'll just multiply the top by m minus 4 and the bottom by m minus 4. And so our, num our denominator on this one is going to end up m times m minus 4. I want the same denominator for this one, so what should I multiply top and bottom by here? Well, I already have the m minus 4, so here I'll just multiply top and bottom by m. So what does this first fraction become? Well, multiplying, I just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, so multiply, multiplying my numerators here, I get 3m minus 12. I was just multiplying each of these terms, sort of distributing my 3 in there, we can say. And my denominator becomes just m times m minus 4. I didn't change anything there. I just, I guess it just reversed the order. What happens over here? The top, 1 times m is m. The bottom is, once again, m times m minus 4. And now they have the same denominator, so we can add them up. And what happens on our, in our numerator? Well, we've got 3m plus m leads to 4m, and we've still got a, a minus 12 up there. And the, new, the denominator is going to stay the same. So the denominator is m times m minus 4, and this does match an answer choice. That is answer choice E.